next. We'll get a little bit of that JD weld I've just prepared on the threads and down inside here. One of the uh, trickiest parts of this is getting the connection between your map gas tank or propane tank and the actual pressure regulator you're going to use for the system. Um, what I do, and there's about 15 ways to do this, the way I do it is I get one of these standard nozzles. You can get these anywhere. It's just, you know, a standard pencil flame torch. Uh, for me, what I found to work best is we take it out, that actually screws out, and then there's this crazy little fitting, it's a flare fitting, I'll show you in a minute, that will fit in there. And then we use some stuff called JB Weld to make sure it stays sealed and never comes out. And probably the best way to do this is with a pair of channel locks. Eventually, what you end up with is just this. Now the reason that I like to use one of these is because it has the on-off valve. Now you can actually purchase a connector outright, but it doesn't have the ability to turn the tank off, which I think is important, which is why I do this. Now the next step is there's a little flare fitting that I want to show you that we can put in here, and then just to seal it, I use a little of this wonderful stuff called JB Weld. I love this stuff. You can't beat it. This is called an Ander Lynn compression connector. Quarter inch OD, quarter inch MIP. Let's see if we can get that in there. Alright, for those of you who haven't used JB Weld, it's just like epoxy, only this stuff hardens even harder and it's, it's a little more manageable. You mix them together in equal parts and then we put a little bit inside of that, that connector there screw it down tight and we leave it alone for 24 hours. You got a little bit inside the threads there, a little bit on the threads here. probably tighten them down just enough that it's good and snug. It doesn't have to be real tight. And then if you want to be completely insane, which I generally am, you can put a little bit more right around the outside and wipe off the excess. A little bit of paper towel. When you're all done, you end up with something that looks a little like this. Your canister, of course, goes on this end, your map gas or propane, and this end will go into your pressure regulator. Uh, this is standard pipe thread, quarter inch in this case, because most of the uh, pressure regulators I would want to use, the cheaper ones, uh, are about 20 bucks, and they're quarter inch. 